Hello everybody, it's me, Unfriendly Porcupine, and today I am super excited because the knockoffs are back and they're back with some awesome new Mega Constructs Call of Duty sets. This time they have done the firefighters but with different vehicles, with different helicopters, with different trucks, with different little tiny burning structures. Yeah, this is something I always, always, always wanted Mega Blocks to do. If you ever seen their new awesome sets that were like the firefighter sets, right? Look how cool they look, but look at the system of the figures they use. Oh, Mega, please, please, do you see these figures? We don't really like these type of figures. We would much rather have these super more awesome articulated figures that the knockoffs are doing. So, what do I do as the customer? Do I buy from you, Mega, or do I buy from the knockoffs? Hmm. Ha, huh, which one gives me what I want? Oh, yeah, it's just one simple little thing. If you can do that, I would much rather buy from you, Mega. Because you have the superior quality, the superior build, the superior figure accessories. I would much rather buy from you. But since knockoffs are the only ones in the game, and what did you say about Call of Duty 2022? I'm continuing the line. There are currently no sets being in production. And then over here, knockoffs come out with more new sets. It's almost like as if the knockoffs care more about the Call of Duty line than you, Mega. Ay, ay, ay. I really hope, Mega, if you're watching this video, I really hope you take a moment, sit down, jot this shit down, and take it around. Please. The whole direction that Call of Duty line is going into is clearly going into the dumpster fire of shit. I really don't want to see that line die, so please continue it or at least give us an alternative like how these knockoffs are doing today. See, they continue the line, even if they don't have all the best modes, even if they don't have all the best quality, they continue it and they're the only ones in the game. Do you really want knockoffs to be the only ones in the game making these awesome Call of Duty sets? Might as well throw these in the fire. Cause that is what currently is happening. Well Mr. Funny Man. Is this how you get your sick kicks? Anyways, enough about that mini rant. We are here for the new awesome firefighter sets. Here are the new sets. Here is the first set. This right here is set A. What do we get in set A? We get a fire truck. Now, this is one of the things I never really liked that the knockoffs did. Was the way that they always try to use the Lego-esque builds rather than taking inspiration from the Mega Blocks. Just like how they did with the SWAT APC, the SWAT vehicles, I really much prefer the Mega Blocks builds with just slight modifications from the knockoffs. Both of the sets, I think they were the absolute best. The reason why I bring this up is because if, if you see up close on the fire truck, there's only room for one share. At least you can see right here, they still use the correct mold, but I just wish it was a two-seater. Still though, even if you don't like the build, even if you don't like it how it's only a one-seater when fire trucks technically should be at least a two-seater, you can still customize, rechange some things up and make it your own way, the way it was supposed to be. I know damn well if the real Mega Bloks was in charge of making this set, they would have whooped the knockoff's ass. But since Mega Bloks and Mega Constructs, or now they're called Mega, for the Call of Duty line is just staying silent, yada 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 yada. <laughs> knockoffs it is. Also, of course, knockoffs being knockoff, they wouldn't do it any other way. Annoying bootleg strikes once again. What a sham. What kind of a show are you guys putting on here today? It's non negotiable. Thankfully, even if you don't like any of these builds, which some of the builds actually have pretty useful pieces, you can always just buy the figure separately in this set. I've already done a review on it, so you get an idea of what these figures are all about. I'll not waste too much time on that. Well, moving on here, they actually show you all the playability features that this can create. Now, I'm pretty sure this set, judging based on how the way knockoffs roll, only comes with one figure. So it's not like you get one figure in there and one figure all the way at the top to burn out things. No, that's probably not how it works. And judging based on how knockoffs always do their things, they always usually have the same number of figures in each set that they do. So here, it seems to just be one figure. Of course, the way knockoffs do it, you can see the flaming barrel right there, they put the real fire, and then we get the more Lego X fire over there. Overall, you can see from here, the playability features are nice. You get the awesome leather to burn some things out, except of course, <laughs> the way the knockoffs show it, you wouldn't want to raise this thing up just to burn a barrel down below. But anyways, you can see, you can also see that piece right there on the cover. It's supposed to be the little wire that hooks up to the backpack. Uh, probably that's not realistically the way it works, judging based on how the piece is looking, so... Yeah. 
The real Mega Bloks, if they were in charge of making this set, they know damn well they would have done that. Also, you can see on the back, they actually give you a little spot to place accessories. So you have the hammer and you have the drill. Of course, these are in the knockoff style, which probably have been taken from some Lego knockoff. Yeah, it's the way knockoff roll. Also, the door here, yeah, it's a very tight squeeze just to try to get the figure in there. So, what they suggest, instead of opening up from the door, they suggest you remove the whole lid to place the figure in there. Yes, I know, very Lego-esque. I would much rather prefer it to be a two-seater, but hey, the pieces here are still nice. I still like these glass pieces. Even though they're a bit more Lego-esque, I still like them. The wheels, on the other hand, these are the type of Lego wheels that I've never really liked. I know if Mega Bloks was in charge of it, they would have used the awesomest wheel piece right there. Also, that awesome Firefighter Lantern Extender piece. It's a really good piece. And that's actually one of the reasons I would actually get the set. Specifically for that piece. Also, on the bottom, you have these things that can also come out. I don't know, maybe these are just like little ice cubes you can throw at the fire. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Anyways, moving on to set B, we get a helicopter. Of course, this is the same mold that the knockoffs have already previously used, just in red color. Also, another thing, you probably already guessed what I'm gonna say, I wish the real Mega Bloks would do this! <laughs> yes, but hey, knockoffs are the only ones in the game, so I'm still happy at least that somebody is doing this. Tell me about it. This helicopter right here only has three blades, also has that little one right there towards the bottom, and look at that, that awesome Mega Bloks piece that they use right there. You know that awesome like fence piece right there? It's being used over there, you had a green light over there, a red light over there. Hopefully that's an actual print, judging based on how knockoffs roll, they either do stickers or they either do prints. It's kind of a, you never know which one they're actually going to do. And sometimes they do both. Some things have prints and some prints have uh, stickers. So yeah, you just never know. Also over here, they decided to drop ice cubes, but realistically, I think I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to show that you know you're dropping water, just like if you ever seen in those firefighter uh, situations in California where they have the helicopter fly over then they drop the water on the forest fighter yeah 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 actually that would have also been a really cool set that the uh, me the real mega blocks or even the knockoffs could do be great we also can get a lot of dream molds but yeah that's besides the point over here this looks like an electrical box shit if an electrical box is on fire that is some serious shit going on it's called a transformer Transformer is on fire. It might transform into a robot and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just be careful. When a transformer is on fire, it might turn into a robot and kill you. So just be a little careful. Definitely put it out. <laughs> you are terminated. Anyways, here gives you more an idea of what they're trying to go for. Also, would have been great if they actually included these cones right here rather than them just being CGI would have been a really good mold plus they could also take its source from the uh halo the halo police said they came with those two little cones and hello timer okay yeah those two little things they also could have used it there which would have been pretty cool mm -hmm. moving on showing you more features moving on wow they just rotated it here you kind of get an idea of how many pieces the set actually comes with da -da -da -da. over here they show you all the features that you can do yeah there isn't really much features except uh it's kind of interesting how they show this off so do you just shake a shake of the thing and the ice cubes fall out? Also, if the helicopter blade is spinning, you would have to stop, pretend, shake it, and then continue spinning. So yeah, you see, if you place your hand while it's spinning, you're gonna get yourself hurt. <laughs> so don't do that. Yeah, also, I really wish they would actually show off how the figure can fit inside the helicopter. Probably the fact that they don't show how the figure can fit probably says that it's kind of a pain in the butthole to fit them in there. You see, with the other fire truck mold, you can actually easily take it off and all. So yeah, we'll see how it is. I also like the idea of using those two big fat tubes for exhausts. They look very nice. Moving on to set C, we get another fire truck. Now you see this one right here, it looks like it comes with three figures, but realistically it probably only comes with one, just like the other two sets also only came with one. I think the reason they just throw in three is to show off all the cool features that you can do with this set. I'm placing my bets on that there's only one figure. Here you get a little bit more detail of what all the action looks like. Once again, a one-seater, once again... Oh! Care package pieces being used over there. Very nice. But yes, once again, those Lego-esque style wheel pieces with... Uh, it really does look like the Mega Bloks attack drone wheel pieces. Just with the Lego wheels slapped on instead of the Mega Bloks. 
Yes, annoying boot track once again. Say hello. On the back, you also get that awesome fire letter, PCA. And over here, you get the little structure that's supposed to be a building. Moving on, here they show you all of the features. Ta -da -da. Over here is what the box looks like. And over here, they also show you, wow, this thing can flop down over there. So even if you don't like this set, that piece right there is a good piece to you. And I'm pretty sure if you bought all of these sets, you could probably build yourself a badass fire truck or a really cool fire station. Yeah, this is the kind of shit I love knockoffs do, because instead of just doing all military shit, they actually do civilian lines. One of the things I always, always, always wish the real Megalos would do with the Call of Duty figures. Chocolate! 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 And knockoffs are the only ones in the game doing that right now. We got nothing for 2022, Call of Duty. I really hope you turn this around, Mega. I really hope. I'm dying. You must listen to me. I fear the Chosen One may give up hope. This must not happen. Anyways, that's how many pieces this set comes with. Moving on, here are all the playability features that you get. Mm -hmm. Very nice how this thing can extend. Oh, look at that. You can also play, place your fire extinguisher flamethrower. That yellow piece over there. So that's very nice. Over here, it shows you how you can burn the fire out. Jeez, I'm stupid. Put the fire out. <laughs> you don't fight fire with fire. I'm stupid and friendly porcupine. <laughs> yes, but anyways, that right there shows you the feature over there. This thing right here, I like this feature because it can easily come off. Even though, here's the little funny thing. You know how the real Mega Bloks would do it? They would put in a lot of smooth tiles to make it easier to take off. Here, it looks like... <laughs> Yeah, that probably will not be the most comfortable or easiest thing to take off, but hey, look at this. You get the little side mirror piece, and yeah. <laughs> Anyways, moving on over here, they show you off more features. I really, really dig that letter piece over there. Something I think the real Mega Bloks should do. I mean, they've already done it, but they should do it with these type of figures. <sighs> so it's also nice that that thing can swivel, so it gives it a little side turn over there. Over here, showing you off, showing you more features on how to put the fire out. Yeah, see, if it's really small and all you need to do is just stand there, then why is the ladder necessary? <laughs> just say it. Oh wow, and they actually use real water this time instead of using the clear piece over there. Nice. <laughs> oh, and look, it's in reverse. Now on to set D, which is basically a fire truck, like an actual truck truck. <laughs> With a crazy zapper fire extinguisher that looks like some... <laughs> that looks like some dangerous shit rather than putting out fires. Also, nothing they fucked up on the back of the box. You can see they used the previous set C instead of using the appropriate set. This right here is what the box is actually supposed to look like for this set. And it also shows you how many pieces it has. Da -da -da. That's how it works. And look, interesting. The whole back compartment can swivel. So that's nice, nice. Over here, they show you all of the features you can do. Ah, uh, yes, you just have a little water spray bottle. That's what that is exactly supposed to be. I really don't think that's gonna do much. Especially since you have a backpack that's supposed to be filled with water over there, which is the flamethrower piece. What are you doing, Mr. Firefighter? Not being very efficient to fighting fires. <laughs> Ish. Anyways, you have this interesting barrel trash can piece burning on fire with two grippers. So, that's interesting. I believe that's more of a Lego piece. Over here at the top, this is just the way I like my burgers. On fire! <laughs> oh, and look! How ironic! The burger joint is on fire! <laughs> yes, of course, it's just more of a little tiny entrance building. It's not much over there, but hey, they use care package pieces over there. So, yeah, nice, nice. Anyways, moving on, we can see right here, so you just squirt water on the burger joint over there. Of course, you know the way I like my burgers, I like them extra hot if you know what I mean, so... <laughs> ah, guys, I just still find it so ironic, the burger joint is on fire! Of course it is, because they use a lot of those spicy jalapeno Carolina ghost peppers! <laughs> Help! It's gonna be on fire for sure. <laughs> okay, anyways. Oh wow, they're actually using the appropriate equipment to burn out the fire! So, so let me get this straight, for the bigger structure, use the smaller water spray bottle, and then for the bigger one, you use the actual proper equipment to burn it out. Ha, knuckles. Ha, yeah. Also, I like this back compartment, and even though the build looks Lego esque, I actually like the design. It's smooth, it's nice. The triangle, the triangle red glass piece over there, the 
care package pieces. This moonness over here, this part can actually open up so you can shove something in there. Or it actually is used to hide this thing in further. You see, the big water zapper. Because uh, firefighters really need this big humongous. But it really does look like Mr. Dr. Evil Scientist genius guy from like some superhero movie pulls out with this super water zapper shit and be like here you go firefighters use that it really gives me that aesthetic but hey it still works if it puts out the fire the job is done i just also hope you also get those really cool prints but i don't know they might be stickers they might be prints either way if they're not prints you can always just not put the sticker on and if they are prints well you get some really useful pieces and that right there shows you how the interior was built. Moving on to set E, it's basically like a pickup fire truck. Yeah, with the ladder extender piece, which is very nice. Look, okay, so we get the fire, we get the fire extinguisher piece that's a flamethrower. Yeah, it's done in gray color, and then over here it's done in yellow with the gray tip. Huh. And also the figure has a yellow vest, when the figure in this set has a green vest. No coughs, you're confusing the fuck out of your costumes. What's this? Out of my sight. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, that's the backpack piece over there. The flamethrower backpack piece. They just use it for the water. And then, uh, you burn this out. And, uh-oh, what's that? An electrical signal. Oh, yeah, you probably want to get to that sooner. Before the whole thing explodes. But, yeah. Also, look, they actually gave us, uh, the proper door pieces over there. Yeah, you see? Those door pieces. Not those super skinny one stud. One high, uh, tall brick stud ones. Yeah, these door pieces are a lot more better than the other ones. These ones I might actually use for my quality figures. It does look like a two-seater. But no, it looks like just some clever marketing trying to make it not look like a two-seater. So yeah, this is probably a one-seater, but the figure just been scooted a little bit to the side. But hey, they at least use the proper Call of Duty chair mold, so yay on that part. Also, another thing to note over here, instead of calling it an X block, instead of calling it an 8 block, they call it XJ block. Maybe that's what it was actually supposed to be? Okay, well, okay, no cops. I still call you X block, even though it looks like an A block. Yeah. Over here is what the box looks like with the amount of pieces. And over here they show you all the playability features. So interesting. Now they show you three figures. But notice how they are all the same figures. Yeah, I wish they were a little bit more clear. Like this set only comes with one figure, instead of trying to confuse the fuck out of your customers. Cause this makes me think, wow, you get three figures in this set, you only get one, probably. Yeah. Mega Bloks would never do that. They would not confuse the customer like that. Well, especially when there's customers who really want to buy it. Every fucking day. I also like the way they did the bumper. It's stupid, and it's simple, and it works for a Lego S build like this. Plus, the pieces you can actually recustomize and make your own bumper, so yeah. And look, you get the clear fire extinguisher piece. Also, the raw piece is not... You see knockoffs right there? You see that little peg attachment where you're supposed to attach the rope to? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they might have messed that up a little bit. Also, oh, ay ay ay, Chico, what have they done with those hands? You see that hand just coming out at the socket? What the fuck? <laughs> Anyways, knockoffs, yeah, it does like little tiny things you might not notice. But yeah. Also, that this firefighter has a black helmet instead of a white helmet when there's only probably one figure in here. Like, see, they did it correctly over there versus over there. But hey, at least you get these mirror pieces over there, which are nice. You get more ice cubes to use over there. You get this little radial thing, or maybe an ice gun or something, yeah. And you also get care package pieces in red color. Nice. And it's also an interesting thing to note that the leather can come apart. Yay! Well, these are probably the Lego type of leather pieces. And I'm not sure how this figure is actually gripping. Yeah, that's the thing that kind of is a little bit confusing. But yeah, anyways, moving on to the last set, set F, which is quite a similar set to the other helicopter that's been here. But just slightly different. Over here, they see, they give you a little slightly different terrain piece with a, with a wheel piece attached to it. Don't know what exactly this is trying to be. Uh, just some random knockoff gibberish that's supposed to be something to burn out. Or to put out a fire. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> and here you get a Juggernaut figure, which I think is actually the best figure out of them all. Because you get the Juggernaut armor piece mold in yellow color. And you get the Riot Gear mold in black color with the silver paint. I actually hope they actually properly paint that one. Yeah. 
Moving on over here, they just basically changed this up, gave you that thing on the side, more windows on the side over there. This helicopter still comes with three propeller, uh, three propeller blades, and over here is what the box looks like. Here, giving you a little bit more detail, so you can understand with higher definition graphics. Oh, and also look over here, they use care package pieces. So if you want more of those red care package pieces, you'll get them right there in the set, and you also get a gray one. Nice, nice. So here, you get the one with the silver color, right? For the facial, um, for the riot gear glass piece, the mask. Over here, there is no paint silver application going on over there. So, which one do you get then? Do you get the one with the silver paint? Or do you get the one without the silver paint? And just the regular mold of the color? I don't know. I wish knockoffs would have made the report specific on that. Those are like crucial information that we definitely need to know. <laughs> Moving on, this right here is what the box of the set looks like, coming with 431 pieces. These are the fire experts. Moving on to the back end, here we have some of the features that this helicopter comes with. So, looking on the back end over here, you can see the back door can flop down, so you can actually shove a figure in there. Though, looking carefully, uh, the figure looks like they don't really have a lot of room to really fit in there. So, what I would have been the better thing to do is to make that hole bigger, so the figure can actually fit into the back end. But yeah, that's just me. There you go. There's the figure coming with a yellow fire extinguisher flamethrower piece, which is nice. But yeah, that thing can flop open. You somewhat how somehow shove the figure in there. It's fun to have fun, yeah. And also, there's a repair logo over there. Probably needs some repairs <laughs> to the build and design. But yeah, that's just me. Moving on over here. What's interesting is that piece on the side is actually a shooter piece. That right there is awesome. So, yes, you would just shoot out a blue beam, like a Metroid Ice Beam, but yeah, you shoot out a blue beam, and it's supposed to put out the fires. I like it. This is the technology of the future. <laughs> Anyways, over here is what that button looks like that you would press, and it would shoot that piece out, so, yay! Also, if you notice, the knockoffs specifically don't show off how the figure can fit in the front of the helicopter cockpit. Probably because he doesn't fit in very nice. Just knowing knockoffs, that's probably why they don't want to show off that feature. But hey, uh, figure somehow fits in there, so yeah. We'll just we'll just trust the CGI this time. That the figure fits in there. That's pretty helpful. Well, my comrades, now this is the time of the video where I ask you, what do you think about these new firefighter sets that the knockoffs are releasing? Oh, and before I forget. The link to where you can check this set out will be in the description below. Other than that, my comrades, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you for watching.